what is up guys it's Tyler here with Tyler's Card Gameplay and as you guys can see we are playing some Metro on Free For All and I hope you guys like my intro before it's uh, my first time ever putting it on that took a while for me to make actually um just a couple hours my computer took uh, about 45 minutes to render it but uh so yeah I hope you guys are uh, enjoying that so today what this video is going to be about it's going to be what hardware you need to get in the game battles and like what it takes to get in the game battles so um the first thing and this is this thing this piece of hardware is good for it's extremely good for public matches and um and game battles which is that's what uh, all these are for they make your they'll raise your kd probably about a hundred percent of what it's from just after like a month or two of using it so the first thing that uh we are going to do is uh a headset and whenever you get a headset you don't want a cheap 30 dollar headset now you want a high quality honestly guys probably a hundred dollars or more if you want to get a nice headset but i understand if if it's uh if it's 50 50 or 60 dollars it should be good um because you can hear people so well in this call of duty now advanced warfare wasn't that uh big but in this call of duty it is trust me i can hear people from you know like honestly like an eighth of a map away I, I can't tell feet in a call of duty game but um so here's a picture of the one i got right here So there you go guys, there is my headset with the um, with the box that comes in, they, uh, so you guys probably saw their Stealth 500p, and the mic is really good, that's what I'm recording on right now, it's a good quality mic, and the, the most important thing about it is, is that it is a, uh, it has, well, it's a wireless, I like wireless so much better than wired, um, and a surround sound but honestly guys i only had like 130 bucks and i was uh kind of want a headset real bad so i just bought that one when i probably should have waited to get some astros because they they are better but they're not even that much better so right here in the gameplay i'm trying to play a little bit safe here to see if i can get a wraith and so you guys can see i did i was bummed out one kill away from free for all i would have and the game pretty fast there but so the next thing that you, you will need, and arguably the, the most important thing, and the most expensive thing, is a SCUF uh, gaming controller. And there's a few reasons why that is so important to uh, get one of these. Is Number one, just the paddles on the back. Anytime I jump, I can shoot people while I'm jumping. And that makes a massive difference. When I got this thing, my KD raised probably about... 40 30 40 percent i mean it was amazing just like in the first week using it it keeps on climbing i said now because i had this thing for about um four four and a half months and uh it's just amazing guys it improves your gameplay so much and it is so important because people are playing game battles most of them are going to have a scuff because most of these players are um very serious players and if you are playing tournaments, which if you guys don't know, tournaments are what it costs to, uh, it could cost money to play battles and you're actually playing with real money, everybody's going to have a scuff on there because these guys are no joke if you guys, uh, have, a ever, like, watched people play, um, battles for money, they're, they're uh, pretty serious, so, uh, yeah, guys, the scuff is very important, and if you guys are just getting a uh, gaming console, I would highly recommend getting a PS4 because that is what MLG, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be switching to that in one or two years because Xbox is not uh, doing too hot with sales; like uh, they're pretty low. So yeah, guys, we are going to be moving on to our next piece of hardware. All right, guys. So the next piece of hardware is a monitor a computer monitor the reason why you want a computer monitor is because if you're playing on a large tv or any kind of tv you're going to have a lot of input lag most likely and that input lag can range to about point uh five seconds or like 50 milliseconds 
or even some uh, older TVs can be, they can be all the way up to like uh, 80 milliseconds. So that is a long time guys, especially in this game where you get killed in like, you get killed in milliseconds, it doesn't even take a second to kill you. So, and what input lag is, is say I press the reload button or square on uh, the PlayStation, it will take points, if, uh, if I was on a TV, it would take 0.5 seconds for it to actually show it on my screen so and that's like that's up to on the icr that's about four bullets which that's that's massive guys if you can uh, be like four bullets ahead of someone it's incredible so it will and that's not the only reason it's because it's a smaller screen you can watch your screen so much better and i'm just saying the kd is to show you guys how much it improved it improved my KD probably about 0.3% um, and right here it's the end of the game guys so here's a picture of my monitor and uh so I want you guys to comment into the, into the description which you guys want I will be doing a walkthrough of the, of the game battles website in probably about a day or two so I'm really looking forward to that and if you guys have watched my uh, earlier videos they are not the best quality my quality has jumped massively it's got a uh, new computer I got a um I started taking a long time to edit my videos it takes me a couple hours now so I hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe thank you guys for watching